During the next few minutes, Rockwool is going to present a full-scale facade fire test. The objective of the fire test is to draw parallels between the fire properties of Rockwool insulation and the fire properties of expanded polystyrene insulation. The fire load in the building is 22 kilograms per square meter. The temperatures are computer registered at several positions inside and outside the building. The wall claddings are render solutions well known in Europe and North America. For the wall with expanded polystyrene cladding, we used an 80 millimeter thick insulation board with a density of 15 kilograms per cubic meter. On the rock wall wall, we used an 80 millimeter facade lamella. On both walls, the covering render is an 8 millimeter thick modified mineral render solution. In both cases, the insulation is fixed to the wall with adhesive mortar. The two fires are ignited simultaneously. During the first four minutes, the two fires develop identically. After one minute, the room is surrounded by flames. After two minutes, the window frames of polystyrene catch fire. Three minutes after ignition, we have big flames coming out of the windows. And three and a half minutes later, the temperature is above 800 degrees centigrade. We will now focus on the expanded polystyrene solution as the fire starts developing very quickly on this wall. It can be seen that a heavy smoke has started coming from the wall because the polystyrene behind the render has melted and ignited. After five and a half minutes, the render starts falling off the wall. The polystyrene left on the wall starts burning off, which develops a very heavy smoke. As a result of this, the temperature rises so drastically that the first glass layer in the double glazed window on the floor above breaks. After seven minutes, the second glass layer breaks, leaving the window with no protection. Nothing can prevent the fire from entering through the window now. The fire spreading up through the construction happens so quickly that it could have disastrous consequences. After only eight minutes, the EPS facade is all burned out. Let us have a look at the Rockwell facade. So far, no changes can be seen from the second minute of the fire. We can conclude that there has been no danger of the fire spreading on the Rockwell facade. We will now stop the test and ask the fire brigade to extinguish the fire to have a closer look at the two walls. On the rock wall wall, the render around the window is burnt off, but the construction and the rock wall are undamaged. It's beyond any doubt that the fire test has proven the superior fire properties of the rock wall insulation. As expected, the wall with expanded polystyrene insulation is totally burnt down and all the render has fallen off. In the fire regulations, expanded polystyrene is rated as self-extinguishing insulation material. The fire regulation is based on small-scale fire tests. When you see these pictures, this seems inadequate. 